Welcome to a session on payroll day to day. What we're going to be doing in this session is processing payroll for a normal week for our employees. With the payroll command centre in front of us, we click on process payroll and it asks us a question. Who do we want to pay and what do we want to pay? We first of all select the pay period and we're going to process all employees paid weekly. The payment date, today's date, is the 17th of August 2012. The pay period start and the pay period finish. We are paying them from uh, last Saturday to this Friday. If that information is OK, we will click Next. And it brings up the Select and Edit Employees Pay for the weekly pays. And it reminds us again that the payment date is today, the 17th of August. The pay period start is the 11th of August and the pay period end is today also. We have three employees, Anne Abel, Bill Baker and Harry Lee. We have the payment method is shown and also the check number if necessary. We actually have auto numbering for most of them and it shows me the amount of the net pay. If I want to check on anyone's pay, all I have to do is to click the little white arrow at the beginning of their line. So if I want to have a look at what comprises Anne Abel's pay for this week, move the mouse to the little white arrow, click on the white arrow, and up comes her paycheck, which shows me that her base hourly is for the 38 hours coming out to $950. The tax is calculated automatically as $160. If I scroll down, it'll show me that her entitlements are calculated. She's entitled to 2.923 hours of holiday leave and 1.462 hours of personal leave. And in the employer expenses, I have the superannuation calculated, which is at 9% of the gross wages. If I'm happy with that, I just click OK. If I want to change it, I can go back and change it. Similarly, I could check that Baker, Bill Baker and Harry Lee's pays are also correct. And if I'm satisfied that they're all correct, I simply click Record. It will ask me, you're about to record three paychecks. Do you want to continue? Yes, I'll continue. I can also tick the box, in the future do not show this message, this box up here. I'll leave it blank for the time being and click continue. It's now recorded three paychecks and to continue I just click OK. It now asks me how I want to process the payments. My preference is to process the pays and do them electronically. The days of handwriting checks I think have long gone and people being paid cash, I haven't seen that for quite a while, but I'm told it still does happen. Our employees are being paid electronically and if I want to prepare the electronic payments, I merely click on the prepare electronic payments button and it comes up with a list of who I want to pay and the amounts that they are to be paid. All I have to do is to click each one and I can then click and prepare the bank file. Normally I prepare the bank file towards the end of the day so that it's now ready for processing. So I'll leave that for the time being, cancel out of there, and I'll click Next. It then asks me if I want to print or email the pay slips. In order to print or email the pay slips, all I need to do is click on the Print or Email Pay Slips button and I get a list of those pay slips that are to be printed. I only have one to be printed, that is Bill Baker. All I need to do is tick the box, up comes Bill Baker, and I can then press the print button and get his pay slip printed for giving to him or posting to him, however you wish to send it. For the email ones, if I click on to be emailed, up will come a list of Anne Abel and Harry Lee and all I have to do is to click on in front of them, click send email and they will disappear off into the uh, email system.
Once I've printed or emailed the pay slips, I can then click finish and we're back to the start of processing the payroll.